Friends, during this month, we are focusing on compassion. And one of the ways that we grow in compassion is by practicing prayer together. We will be praying the prayers of the people. I will, I will offer a petition and leave space for you to, to pray with me, for you to offer your petitions aloud or within the silence of your hearts. And uh, we will pray for one another and for others and the world. Together, let us pray for the people of this congregation. those who suffer and those in trouble. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The concerns thy of this come, local community. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, the but deliver us from evils and its leaders. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, in this moment, we invite you to pause this video and to pass the peace of Christ with one another in the, the season that we are apart and also connected by the Spirit of God. It is really important that we remind each other of that, that the bonds of Christian love are strong and resilient. So I invite you to send a text message, send an email, make a phone call, let universal. somebody know you're thinking it's about leaders, them. And it's you members pass and it's members and it's missions. Let somebody know that you're thinking of them and you pass Christ's peace together. Peace be with you. the communion of saints who we name before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray with these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, in this moment, we invite you to pause this video and to pass the peace of Christ with one another in the season that we are apart and also connected by the Spirit of God. It is really important that we remind each other of that, that the bonds of Christian love are strong and resilient. So I invite you to send a text message, send an email, make a phone call, let somebody know that you're thinking of them and you pass Christ's peace together. Peace be with you. Well, friends, in this season, as we seek to be people of deeper compassion, I invite you to receive this blessing as your benediction first spoken by Bishop Woody White at the 1996 General Conference of the United Methodist Church. May the Lord continue to torment you. May the Lord keep before you the faces of the hungry, the lonely, the rejected, the despised. May the Lord afflict you with pain for the hurt, the wounded, the oppressed, the abused victims of violence. May God grace you with a burning thirst for justice and righteousness. May the Lord give you courage and strength and compassion to make ours a better world, to make your community a better community, to make your church a better church. And may you do your best to make it so. And after you have done your best, may the Lord grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.